Hello everybody and welcome to my much awaited explanation of the MK2 grinder cell. Uh, this is the single cell, it's pretty much all the way from the bottom of the bedrock to the sky limit. And a lot of you have been asking, how does it work? How does it, how does it kill the mobs so damn quickly? Well, here is a very quick explanation. It's actually very simple. This won't take me three minutes to explain. If I just get up here, you see this? That is a pressure pad. Uh, when the mob spawns on the pressure pad, the piston immediately pushes him off and he falls down here. So, how's it do this? Well, the pressure pad powers this redstone, which powers off, hold on a sec, powers off this redstone torch here, which then in turn powers on this torch and activates the piston. Nice and simple. Uh, it's done this rather overcomplicated way so that you can um, sorry so that you can fit the entire thing into a single one wide area this allows you to stack cells very close together very oh that was a voice break that was a fail anyway if I move on so once the mob has spawned on the pressure plate which they can they get pushed down here now down here imagine a long fall before reaching this part which is the grinder um Ignore the weird ass water flows, that just happens when you cut something in half with water flows using MC Edit. Uh, so as you can see, they hit the they hit the floor. And uh because these fences are one tool, they effectively make the water shallower. They can't the water uh, becomes unable to break the fall from a certain height, which just happens to be about twenty five blocks. And I just fall off again. Well, they die. Their items get swept to the middle, they go down that hole, and then they come out of this hole in the bottom, which is covered up, which you can see on this one. It's extremely simple. As you can see, this one is chucking out items. Even though it's only one cell, it still produces a good 3,000 items per hour. Um, that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it, really. Uh, this is just copied in a... 9x9 nine nine grid, that's 81 cells, and then water flows are underneath that collect all of the items from each cell to one singular point. That over there, that just stops the squids from spawning in my tower, this is it's, it's irrelevant. Well, that is pretty much it. I'm also going to take this time to outline the reason that this trap is completely impossible to build legitimately. Each of these pistons requires a slime ball and iron. Now, in the entire trap there are 81 cells. Each cell has 128 blocks of spawnable floor space. Each requires a grinder. So if you take 128 and times it by 81 you get uh, 10,368. 10,368 squares of spawnable space. Each requires a piston. So that's 10,368 slime balls, 10,368 iron, and some ridiculous amount of sandstone and when you compare that to the amount of stone it would take to build this thing, it's just off. It's just out of this world. You could not build this thing legit. A lot of people have been asking, well, what's the point? Why, why do it? If we're doing all of this non-legit, then why don't we just spawn the items? Well, we don't spawn the items because that's boring, and that's cheating, and this is hard, and this is fun. So, well, that was about it. This is my explanation of the MK2 grinder, done. It's really, really damn simple. And there's a lot of room for improvement. This tube, the drop tube, is actually 30 long. It could be shorter. There could be fewer cells. It's There's loads of things that could be done, but I'm leaving that up to other people to do. To be quite honest, I'm a little bored of building traps like this. So, well, hope you enjoyed my explanation. 101 out.